Hi everybody, welcome to Instagram Live. I'm Dr. Palmer with Pure Joy Pediatrics. I'm a general pediatrician and I like to do Instagram Lives at 12.30 on Thursday afternoons. Um, so good to see you here. And today I'm actually answering a question. Um, if anybody else has questions that come up while, while we're on live, uh, go ahead and um, post them in the comments. But I had a question, uh, hi there, Hi there, Dr. Kaufman. Um, I had uh, a question come up this week which had to do with separation anxiety um, in a toddler. And the scenario was this, that this toddler is now having a hard time getting ready for school in the morning. Um, same school that, um, that this toddler's been in for, for at least a year to two years. And the mother asked me, well, so what do we do about the separation anxiety? And now this is actually a really good reason to go in and see your pediatrician. I'm a general pediatrician, and this is a question that does come up from time to time, and I really love answering this one. Um, so separation anxiety, and the reason why I love it actually is because it's very, it's, it can be complicated, and it really can be case dependent, which means that the reason for separation anxiety could be different from one child to another. And so this is the kind of question where I, it would actually prompt me to ask parents more questions like, um, has anything changed? So for young children, many times uh, an activity that they mastered, um, that they've been comfortable with for a while, um, they can sometimes have what's called a regression. So like um, skills that they had, they can lose or forget when something's really bothering them. Uh, separate, separation anxiety could be um, one of these areas, um, especially in this case because if a child has not changed schools and hasn't changed classrooms, but is having a really hard time letting go of a parent when they're dropped off, crying and crying, um, this could be a sign that there's something else that's going on in the child's life that's bothering just a little bit. Other areas where you might see regression if a child is struggling with changes in their life um, could be potty training. So you could have a child that's been potty trained for a while and then all of a sudden starts having accidents. This is actually a really common reason for people to bring their children in wondering if you know they could have a urinary tract infection. But many times this is really more of a response from the child that something's bothering them emotionally. And then other things you might see regressions in could include um, sleep. So a child that ordinarily um, sleeps great through the night um, might start waking up or having a really hard time falling asleep. Those could be um, signs that the child is having some kind of emotional response to something that's going on in their lives. And so our job as parents and pediatricians is to figure out why that's happening. So in the case of separation anxiety, if the school hasn't changed, if his teacher hasn't changed, and if he hasn't changed classrooms, there could be something going on at home that is bothering him or her. And so then my next question is usually, um, have there been changes at home, like an addition or subtraction of a family member, like maybe a grandparent moved out um, that had been living with the child for years, or maybe there's a new baby at home. Um, that is a very happy addition for sure, but that could, you know, the, those changes in the household of like getting ready for a baby could be something that a young child is responding to. And even though they're maybe very excited about having the baby show up at some point, it may also be a change in their routine um, that is affecting them in other places and manifesting as separation anxiety. So hi there. Hi, we're, we're live. We're talking about toddlers today and a little bit of separation anxiety. Um, and so my, my answer for a toddler that may be exhibiting um, separation anxiety that ordinarily, like otherwise there's no other changes at school, um, I would say let's, you know, look at home and look at the child's life and see if something's changed. And it's usually, hi there, good to see you. Um, there's usually something else going on in the child's life at home. Uh, we talked about the addition or subtraction of a family member, including maybe a grandparent moving out or having an addition to the family, which is a, it's a happy event. Having a sibling is a really happy event, but again, it's a, uh, hi there, but again, it's a change in routine for the child. And so this may be the reason why uh, when you take him to school, he's having a hard time separating. 
And it could be there's nothing different at school. It's just there's something a little bit different at home. And that's what he's reacting to. So um, there are ways to talk to toddlers about, um, hi, good to see you. Um, there are ways to talk to toddlers about, you know, their arrival of a new sibling. There are great books out there that you can sit down and read with your child and talk about the happy event of having a brother or sister and also be very reassuring that, um, that even though a brother or sister might, might come along, it doesn't change the way you feel about your child. And yes, the routine might be a little bit different, but it's going to be fun to do it together. Um, so if there's any questions out there about separation anxiety in young children, um, go ahead and post them in the comments. I would say another thing um, along with separation anxiety, because sometimes it is a new school or sometimes it's a new babysitter and your child might have a hard time staying with that new babysitter, that new, that new school. Um, this is kind of a normal reaction, especially um, during the pandemic where um, a lot of children haven't had the same social exposure or even daycare or babysitter exposure like, like they may have had pre, pre-COVID. Um, <clears throat> and so what I will usually tell parents many times, we sort of feel ourselves as like protectors for our children. And when our children get very upset because we're leaving them with somebody that they're, they're, they're just getting to know like a babysitter um, or a daycare, uh, our instinct is to scoop them up and take them home. Um, this would be one of those scenarios that if you vetted out the daycare or the babysitter and you feel that it is a safe place for your child, you, you do want to reassure them and you do want to leave them, leave them for a little bit. Maybe, um, uh, I know actually when I did this with my son, I went to the school with him and sat for an hour and then we left together and I would always reassure him and say, mommy always comes back. So even though our instinct is to scoop them up and take them home because they're crying, you do want to give them an opportunity to sit there for a little bit and kind of get used to a new environment and somebody new. And you might just make it a short session. So like if you're leaving your child in daycare for three hours, um, for three hour sessions, you might just make it a half an hour or an hour, but slowly desensitize them to the concept of you drop them off, you left them and you came back. Uh, and usually most children, when they go to school or with other children, they enjoy it so much that they understand that this is a fun place and then they stop giving those signs of separation anxiety quite so much. Anyway, um, that's all I have for you today on separation anxiety. Again, it can be very complex. This is a really great reason to go in and see your pediatrician if you're seeing this in your child and you're like, I don't know what to make of it. I don't know why this is happening all of a sudden. It's something that I love to help um, parents dissect and figure out what the root cause is. Um, if you have a child or have friends that have children um, and they're trying to figure them out, um, please look us up, Pure Joy Pediatrics. We're in Portland, Oregon. Um, give us a call. We'd be happy to see you. We're taking new patients. It's good to see you all. Take care.